I'm going to show you how to get a long-term investment property that should kick off about $60,000 a year in pure profit. But that's not the best part. That ain't the reason you came to the video. The reason you came to the video is I'm going to get the government to buy the investment for you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks, the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. If you enjoy it, please stick around, subscribe. I'm James Wise, and today I'm working with my man, Jose, because that's what I do on this show, folks. I work with you guys one-on-one, -on -one, right? So if you're watching this video and you ain't Jose, uh, you're watching it later. This deal, it's no longer available. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you got to send my team an email, include your number, we'll call you, talk to you about how you get customized personalized videos like Jose and I are doing. And then later, I drop them on Holton Wise TV so you could all learn. And Jose, we going to talk about a big old cash flowing beast, right? About 60 grand. As a matter of fact, my chart here says 62,200. When I ran the number, $60,200 of passive cash flow. And I'm going to get the government to pay for it. We're going to go over the details and how you structure the deal right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. How can we get the government to pay for this deal, right? That's what I'm talking about, okay? I think... This makes a hell of a lot of sense for a lot of people. I think a lot of people don't understand that you can do stuff like this. Don't understand that the government at some time is not trying to fight you. In fact, the government could be helping you, right? This particular property, 2078 West 44th, Cleveland, 44113, okay? You might not think of Cleveland when you're thinking about luxury real estate. You might not think about Cleveland when you're thinking about short-term rental properties, right? I have sold over $200 million worth of investments in Cleveland, many of which are low-income Section 8 rentals. We do a lot of that. It's where my bread's buttered. That's where I made the majority of my money, okay? I'm not trying to say uh, that that aspect of what a lot of you have heard about Cleveland does not exist. That's where I make the most of my money, right? But there are other, other types of ways you can invest in the Cleveland market that don't involve low-income renting, one of which is new construction, short-term rentals, Airbnb, VRBO, while getting the government, while getting Cleveland to pay for it, right? And this, this is a prime example. Brand new home, just got built, okay? And that's key, right? First of all, the home's beautiful, okay? Look at this sucker. This, this is a nice home, obviously, right? Everything is mint because it's brand spanking new, right? Just a beautiful home, right? And that's what we need. We need to present a beautiful luxury home, right? Part of the reason this works is because the home is brand new and beautiful. The other part of the reason that this investment is going to work is because of the neighborhood, right? Cleveland wants this neighborhood to continue to gentrify. This is one of the hottest neighborhoods in Cleveland, okay? This is a gentrification friggin' I don't know, friggin' gentrification orgy, man. I don't know even how to describe it, but this is where the gentrification happens, folks. Nice unfinished basement. You don't need to worry about the basement, though, right? Everything else is friggin' beautiful, okay? Now, let's pull this bad boy up, okay? Let's pull up the map, folks. Let's pull up the map, all right? When you hear about gentrification in Cleveland, it's happening in... Edgewater, Detroit Shoreway, Ohio City, Tremont, right? This one right here in between Detroit Shoreway and Tremont, okay? And it's kind of like right there in Ohio City, too. It's kind of like all up in the, the center of the action. Another neighborhood I really, really like in Cleveland, the Clark Fulton neighborhood. Now, if you guys watch some of my other content, I talk about Clark Fulton and all the money that's going into Clark Fulton right now. 
billion dollars from Metro Health, another like 40 or 60 million from the Regional Transit Authority. And I love Clark Fulton for uh, investors looking to buy low income properties and hoping for speculation. Why? Because Clark Fulton borders all the good stuff. Trima, Ohio City, Detroit, Shoreway, Edgewater, right? So we're already here with the gentrification. And I believe this is on the upswing, right? So you should never try to do a short term rental in Clark Fulton, at least not today. I think it's way too high risk. You got to move up to one of these neighborhoods, which is where we are, right? And this is why it works so well. This is where the city's going to help you. This is where I'm going to give you that carrot I've been talking about, talking about getting the city to pay for it. The reason those neighborhoods have gentrified, okay, is because Cleveland wants them to. They've invested a ton of money, and they're giving everybody, everybody like you, 15-year tax abatements, people, okay? Think about this. The tax rate, almost 3%. It's 2.79, but let's just call it 3, okay? Let's call it 3 for ease of math. If you have a house... Worth three hundred eighty-four thousand. Let's just say four hundred thousand for ease of math. Three, six, nine, twelve, twelve thousand dollars a year for ten years. That's what is that? One hundred and twenty-two thousand plus another five. That's fucking I don't know, like sixty. It's like a hundred eighty grand, roughly, right? Hundred eighty grand is what the city is going to give you. You don't have to pay that back. You buy the investment. They don't charge you the taxes. That's it. 15 years. We take a neighborhood that is hot, that is trendy, which is where people want to go when they come to Cleveland. Believe it or not, we got a decent amount of stuff in Cleveland. I know you all don't think about that, but we got the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We got the Science Center. We got the Browns. We got the Indians. If you're really woke, I guess you can call them the Guardians. We got uh, the Cavs. We got all kinds of shit, right? Historically, Airbnb. 38% vacancy, right? 62% occupancy, okay? So there's a lot of people coming here to Cleveland, and they want to be in these neighborhoods close to all the stuff I just named, right? So you provide premium, beautiful, brand-new asset. A lot of you probably heard about the lead-based paint shit. If not, Google it. That's a whole nightmare for some rental property investors. You don't have to deal with that if you're doing brand-new construction, right? So what would the numbers look like on this thing? Well, we should be able to rent it for 400 bucks a night. 400 bucks a night easily okay that'd be 12,400 a month if we occupied it every day but we're not gonna occupy it every day although another thing we could do too is like some nice furnished short-term rentals for nurses that's that's popping too because cleveland also a hub for the medical industry metro health mentioned them earlier they're putting money into clark fulton we also got university hospitals cleveland clinic right Cleveland is one of, like, the top medical destinations, right? So we're always looking for traveling nurses. There's always a nursing shortage, right? My wife used to actually be a nurse, right? So I know a little bit about that industry, okay? A lot of fucking money housing a lot of these people for a lot of this stuff on a short-term basis, right? Now, all that said, I'm not going to give you a mathematical projection here on 100% occupancy. No, no, no. We're going to go with Airbnb's historical occupancy rate of 62%, even though we're also going to be focusing on uh, the furnished rentals for nurses. We're also going to be hitting up VRBO, other stuff, but just running it conservatively. 12.4 should come in the door, but I'm going to go ahead and factor in a 38% vacancy plus all of the other fixed and variable expense estimates. I believe, after all that, it's reasonable to assume a $62,000 every year coming in on average. Now, as far as the cost of the investment, 384.9, that's what they want. That's what we got to give them. Obviously, no repairs. It's beautiful. It's ready to rock, but we do got to furnish it, okay? That was staged, okay? Staged photography there. So we actually have to put our own furniture in, 25K. The investment's 400,900, seeing as we ain't paying no taxes. The cash flow is insane. Remember, 62 G's comes in, right? Project this out at a 39.3% cash on cash return, a 15.2 cap rate. And guess what? Year 15 comes right before you got to pay taxes again. Sell it. It's in the most gentrified area of town. So what do you think is probably going to happen? If they keep injecting money and it keeps gentrifying, folks, that's probably going to be the market, the area, the place where prices appreciate. You talk about internal rate of return. What if you sold this sucker for a solid 100 Gs more than you bought it without paying them taxes for 15 years? It's a no-brainer. I love this investment, and I love the fact that we can work things out with the government, actually get the government to be on our side as rental property investors, right, with all the shit you see in the news about cancel rent this, eviction moratorium that. I mean, Jesus Christ, it feels like the government's attacking property owners. This is one of those scenarios uh, where the government is actually 
working in unison with property owners like us, and it works out good for everyone. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.